Mr. Collotti. What are you doing here? <sighs> Mr. Collotti. Oh, what is it? You've fallen asleep here. Oh. You haven't gone to bed at all. Oh, my. The last thing I remember was that I was writing, and then... Maybe you should rest. If you like, I can draw you a bath. No, 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 no. No, no bath. No, no, no. Just, just bring me some coffee. Lots of coffee. Make it very strong, Elisa, please. As you wish. <sighs> Did you at least write something good? After so much effort. Coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> Did you save your puppet? Lots of coffee, Elisa, please. And make it very, very strong. strong. Did I already tell you that? Yes. Ah, thank you very much. The puppet boy still hoped for some good soul to come to his rescue. But no one appeared. Not a firefly, not the fairy, nor his dear papa. It's just as well I don't believe in assassins. They're all invented by fathers to frighten boys who want to go out at night. They don't exist. As he cowered behind a tree, he could hear the assassins' footsteps draw closer and could feel their hot breath on his bare neck. Fireflies? Come. But while the fairy worked her magic to return Pinocchio to the land of the living, Geppetto was convinced his beloved son was on his way to the land of the Americas. swim all the way to America. You never had to build a bridge across the sea. Why not? <laughs> Morning, Pinocchio. Fairy! Thank you, you saved me. You've no idea what was about to happen to me. And, and, and everything that happened before, and I, I... I don't feel too well. I'm as hot as a stove. And you have fever. The doctors are here. Shall I show them in? Yes. Stay on letter. I won't be a minute. Is she alright? No. Oh. She's fine. She used to be a snail before I turned her into a mate. Oh. 
She's slow, but she's reliable. Once I tried using a crab, but it was a disaster. Because it could only walk sideways? Mm, no, because it kept on stealing the cutlery. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, and now, which is the sick one? Ha! <laughs> Call yourself a doctor. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Not her! I'm the sick one! What? I have a fever. Oh. 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 Well, that's impossible. I don't believe that he is the one in the house. I don't think he was the sick one. But she's <coughs> so old. Um, <coughs> <coughs> My dear colleagues, merely by observing from a safe distance, without even laying a finger on him, I conclude that the patient has a fever. Fever? Fever? I just told you that! Shh, shh, shh. Right then. Let's get to work. <laughs> Keep looking. He must be here somewhere. Keep looking. Well, maybe he disappeared in a puff of smoke. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous? <laughs> Say, ah, uh, very interesting. Very Dear colleagues, this is a very serious case. Mm, yes. His heart is not beating, <laughs> esteemed colleague. I do not wish to contradict you, but the heart, and it is a well-known fact, is on the right side. <laughs> really? Since when? In any case, there is no heartbeat on the right either. Therefore, this boy is dead. Is dead? He's dead. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm alive. It's just my heart's still made of uh, My dear patient. We have studied medicine. You have not studied, so you have no right to express your opinion. Therefore, the chapter with your comments will be deleted from the final version. I prescribe a very bitter-tasting medicine. Gentlemen, our work here is done. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'll call the maid to show you out. No! no! By the time she gets here, it'll be dark. You'll receive my bill in the post. Oh, and mine. And mine. Goodbye, doctors. Goodbye. What's he doing with that old thing? It's not even fit for firewood. <laughs> I reckon he's got a screw loose. <laughs> he's crazy. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Master Geppetto. Miss Laura. What are you doing here? Have you found Pinocchio? Well, yes. I know exactly where he is. Thank goodness for that. So where is he? He's sailing to America. What? How does he... Oh, never mind. I never met a boy quite like your son. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. He'll be home soon. I'm going to bring him back in this boat. But Geppetto, this is crazy. Even if you manage to get this thing to float, there's an entire ocean to cross. And there's a huge shark, as big as a whale in these waters. But I'll get there all the same. I just don't see how you can possibly make it. Then you must learn to look beyond what you can see. <laughs> don't try to go all mystical on me, Master Geppetto. 
You're not some old man of the sea. Uh, you're a carpenter. Why must you always pass judgment on what you can see? These hands would turn this wood into a boat, a schooner, the finest ship in the world. Hmm. In life, you must do what your heart tells you to. Hmm? Hmm. What's in it? Lots of good things to make you well. What does it say? I can't read. It says... Worm sneeze. I'm not taking that. All right, then. We can make it taste sweeter with some sugar. I want sweets. You have to promise to take the medicine. Yes. All right. Did you hear what the doctor said? If you don't take the medicine, you're going to die. I don't care. I'd rather die than swallow that stuff. In that case, I have to show you something. They've come for you. They've come to take you away because you won't take your medicine. Will I ever see you or my puffer again? No, never again. You may be naughty, but I'm not stupid. Wait, Pinocchio. One spoonful is enough. Jerry, if anyone can do this, I can. I'm still the best carpenter I know. Still the best. <laughs> Certainly the craziest. Here I am helping you, so what does that make me? My very dear friend. <laughs> no, don't get all mushy on me. When I look at you, I no longer see an unbearable neighbor, a so-called carpenter with a penchant for inlaid spoons. I see only a father who's trying to find his son. No, 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 no. Don't. No, give, give me with this. You don't know what to do with it. I'll, I'll show you how to use this. Stop looking at me as though I'm your friend. Am I allowed to say thank you? Only if you don't start weeping. I bet ten to one that wreck sinks as soon as it hits the water. Only ten to one? Look at that thing. Even if it floats, I bet the shark will eat it. And the shark will spit it straight out again. <laughs> shark? What shark? Relax, you're only joking. That shark's no laughing matter. Took your hand? Not just my hand. My old boat. Swallow the lot, mast and all, in one gulp. Big shark, then. Terrible shark. Clearly. No, no, that's what they call it. The terrible shark. Teeth as big as tombstones. Eyes as black as the devil. That's enough. Some of us have got work to do. We haven't got time to stand around listening to your tall tales. Now clear off. He thinks. He's going to sail to America in there. Yeah. He's mad. <laughs> His shark food. <laughs> Master Cherry, are you all right? I think you should build a bigger boat. <laughs> now, are you sure you're feeling better? Completely. 
as I say, I'm 50%. Hmm, you really need to get back to school now. I need to get back home first. Do you still have the gold? <clears throat> Do you know what to do with it? Run straight home and give it to my papa. I can't wait to see him. Pinocchio? It's cold. You need a scarf. I'll get it. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Pinocchio. Bye, fairy. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. Don't get into any more trouble. Or well, not only you will break your father's heart, you will break mine too. I have a wooden heart. If it breaks, my papa will carve me a new one. But who will carve a new one for your father and for myself? I've learnt my lesson. I promise I'll be good from now on. I'll be watching you. Get lost. Or go play with the sharks. Giuseppe, Get off. Mario, come here. Get off. Gonna need an Shouldn't you be in school? Lady, huh? Come along, children. The carpenter's boat. He's made a good job of it. So what? He's no sailor. He's not building a boat. He's building his own coffin. He's trying to sell his shop to buy the wood. I heard he wants to sell everything. That's right. I bought a spoon. <laughs> Antonio! Come on, children. Back to school. Which way it is to the next town? I'm really alone. I'm asleep and dreaming that I'm an only child. It's you! Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Oh, dear friend. Pinocchio, where have you been? What happened to you? I escaped from assassins. You did? Traveling is a risky business these days. Especially for assassins. Yes. <laughs> Forgive my curiosity, but how did a simple boy like you manage to outwit such clever assassins? A fairy rescued me. Mm. Poor boy, he's delirious. We waited all night for you in the Field of Miracles. We were so worried. Yeah, we didn't get any shot eye. We even postponed our departure. How could we leave without saying goodbye to our dear friend, Pinocchio? <laughs> and above all, without his dear money. Yeah. Ow! What did you do that for? Did I say money? I meant monkey. Pinocchio and his lovely golden monkey. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you waited so long, but I've decided I don't need any miracles now. Oh. I have four gold coins to take home to my father. And I'll make them last. Absolutely right. You can do plenty with your four gold coins. <laughs> Go along, run home, and live happily ever after. For about six months. Four gold coins won't last forever. Have you seen the price of property in Florence these days? Hmm? That's right. Mm -hmm. And once the gold's gone, it's back to work. But I don't like work. I do. I love work. I could watch it all day. <laughs> I don't get it. But if you had 4,000 gold coins, you'd never have to work a day in your whole life. Now, wouldn't that make your papa proud? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Excuse me. Is it true that you're building this boat to search for your son? No, I know what you're going to say. That I'm crazy and the minute the boat hits the water it's going to sink. Well, you may be saying it out of kindness, but I really don't want to hear, so please, excuse me. I can see you from the window of my house. You haven't once yet to eat. Oh, thank you. That's so kind. I had a son, too. I lost him. If it had helped, I wouldn't have built a boat. I'd build a hundred miles. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're so kind. Thank you. My little boy, the honor is all yours. The hole seems a bit small. Well, you dig one then. This is the field of miracles, remember? You need only a little soil to reap much fruit. I thought we were growing gold. Still, maybe we should dig deeper. If we wanted to work hard, We'd have gone to a normal field. Oh, no, 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 my little boy. Something is missing. I didn't, I didn't take it. It wasn't me. It wasn't even here. Water. Oh, we need water. We need water to make the tree grow. But there isn't a well. Oh, we don't use ordinary well water in the field of miracles. <laughs> you don't? No, we use only sea water. <laughs> Are you sure? That doesn't sound right. Are you calling my brother a fool? If anyone's a fool here, he's... Oh, why'd you keep hitting me? I'm sorry. I haven't been to school. I don't know as many things as you do. Oh, I was never one for school either. <laughs> And I'm about to teach you a lesson that you won't forget. <laughs> See water. And now, run along. I'm not you fool. Run along. How are you going to pay for it? I'll sell my workshop. You're ruining yourself. On the contrary, I'll be saving myself. Can you come to town with me? I need a friend. Huh? No. Someone with a better head for business than me. That's all I get. I have a few spoons left. I might bring ten. Only ten? Yeah. But you, they're fantastic. They're beautiful. They're exquisite. They're magical. Get to 24. <laughs> you know, 
Sometimes I think it's a pity. What is? The money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> Come on. don't grow on trees. Ah, oh, but uh, gold does. Well, of course it... I mean... Well, w when you plant a, uh, a gold coin, then... I'll show you. Take a little time. I wonder. Will it be um, 24 carat gold or just carrots? Uh, 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 a little longer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, a little longer. told me to go straight home. Why didn't I listen? Maybe it's not just your foolish heart that's still made of wood, but your head, too. The fairy. <gasps> she, she'll know what to do. She'll know what to do. Again. I'm looking for my fairy. Well, she's not here. When will she be back? Never. The men in the black carriage took her away. No. She warned you, Pinocchio. All you had to do was go straight home. But you broke your promise. And you broke her heart. Papa! I want to go home. I'll be good. I promise I'll be good. I'll do what I'm told. Please! It's time. Chance. I won't 
wake us up this time. nights are gonna work. I'm, look, I'm sorry if the noise is keeping you awake, but I must finish my boat. We know. Tell us what to do. You all want to help me? Yes. yes. And he's your friend? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. If you could reinforce the gallows, yeah, and um, if you could cough the hull, make, make, make it watertight. Yes. When Pinocchio awoke next morning from pleasant dreams of home, it was to harsh reality. He had lost his gold and, worse, broken his fairy's heart. He had learned beyond a doubt that disobedient boys are far from happy, and he resolved to change his ways. So, with his wooden heart beating fast, he set off for home and Geppetto. However, even the best intentions will be waylaid by an empty belly. As you help me pull this basket up that hill. Do I look like a donkey? I've never bought anything in my life. <laughs> Suit yourself. But take my advice, boy. If you're really hungry, first swallow your pride. Excuse me, could you spare some change for a poor starving child? Sure. Just give me a hand with this mortar. Is it heavy? Very. Then it'll be hard work. No, thanks. Ha! <laughs> you won't get anywhere unless you turn up your sleeves. I think I'll just uh, turn up my nose instead. teach you. It's wrong to steal. He tried, but I'm not a good learner. Uh, what are you going to do with me? Put you to work. What have you got there? Got him sneaking about. This is our chicken thief. Chicken thief? I didn't steal any chickens. Stop. 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 Stop that. 
So, what are you going to do with him? I'll put him in old Melampo's place. Good idea, Dad. Put him in Melampo's place. Who is Melampo? Yes. <laughs> 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 He was. The old brute died yesterday, so you can take his place. And you'll learn that if you want something to eat, you have to work for it. <laughs> My new watchdog. Go on, doggy, bark. <laughs> show us how good you are. I'll show you. I'll bite your ankles. No, 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 no. Save your energy for tonight, watchdog. And you two, get inside. Father saw me like this, he'd die of shame. Oh, poor Geppetto, poor Geppetto. You wouldn't listen to a word he said. You're right, Cricket. I should have listened to him. And to the poor fairy, and to you too. Even though you're bo... bo... Well, never mind. So, what are you going to be now? A good or bad boy? I want to go home and see my papa. No time to waste. You're going to need the fairy to set you free from the chain. Fairy! Fairy! Come quickly! She can't hear you. Nonsense! She has magical ears. Fairy! She's not coming. Ever again. I broke my promise and I broke her heart. She's dead. Fairies don't die. I'm sure. I read it somewhere. I read it somewhere. <laughs> Sales, don't you? No. Hey. Strange. Have you got a cough? What? My name's not Melampo. It's Pinocchio. So where is Melampo? He died. Now I'm the dog. Oh, poor thing. And he was such a good dog. Oh, but you'll be good too, won't you? Go on, give him the bone. Oh, uh, here, have this for starters. And if you stay in your kennel, like a good dog, we'll give you a nice plump hen. Uh, just like we used to with Melampo. Be quiet and stay put. Whoa! 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 
Shh, look, be quiet. Look, look, what look, are you doing? Look, open the door. Look, 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 I'm coming, look, boy! Order. I'm coming! Master Geppetto. Poor oh, Laura. I mean, Miss, uh, what are you doing here? You need some sails for your handsome boat. Here. Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Well, this is your trousseau. I can't possibly take this. Look, there's a space for another set of initials. My future husband, whoever he may be. But I have plenty of time to find love. Use these now, Geppetto, and find the same way. Thank you. Another slice of bread and jam? I, I trusted that dog for years, but all along he was helping the thieves. A good dog is hard to find. Mm, yes. Mm. Lucky for you, this young man was passing by. Yes, that's right, passing by. Such a good boy. I do my best. Your parents must be beside themselves with worry. It's just my papa. What's his name? Geppetto. He's a carpenter. Geppetto. Geppetto. Now, why do I know that name? Oh, yes, of course. He's the crazy old guy building the boat. Can't be my papa, then. Why would he be building the boat? Because he's lost his son. And now he's trying to sail to the Americas to look for him. The boy has a really funny name. Pinocchio? Yes, that's, that's it. it. Where is he? Where's my papa? I must find him before he leaves. Don't worry, I'll take you. But we better drop those thieves off at the prison first. But that's in the opposite direction. We can't wait. I have to go now. Thank you for the breakfast. Aww. Goodbye. You were saying you were here. You tell me I was right. So try not to worry too much. But, but between you and me, I, I I don't think you ought to say things like that. Not in public. People, people all do you think you're mad trying to cross the ocean in this thing? What do you think? I think you need a flag. Yeah. No, Pinocchio! Come on! Which way? Which way is it? There's no sign! Which way should we go? Maybe you should wait for the weather to improve. This is perfect sailing weather. <sighs> the wind will fill my sails. I'll catch up to Pinocchio in no time at all. Come on, help me cast off. What about Laura and the fishermen, though? They're, they're planning a grand send-off. That's all very kind, but time is of the essence, and I must leave now. Come on, help me to cast off. Come on. Let's review. Moss grows on the north side of the tree. Sunflowers turn towards the sun, which, as it is morning, is in the east. And we want to go... Which way do we want to go? Uh, fairy, only you can help me. Uh, this is hopeless. Hmm, that goes that way. Uh, oh, it round. Uh. Look, a cricket!
Don't worry. I'm going. Punch the box. No, 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 no. Come on, no, 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 no. Stay calm. Stay calm. Come back. Don't worry. To it because he's not coming back. Liar! I'm the only one telling you the truth. You've lost your dear papa, and now you're free to do as you please, just like me. Have you heard the big news? I don't care about your news. I'm not listening. All right, then. What news? I'm going away. I'm going to the best place in the world. The land of toys. You should come too. Me? No, no I'm wedding here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Still, you'll be missing out. The holidays start on the first day of January and end on the last day of December. It's fun from morning till night there. And you know what happens the next day? The fun starts all over again. <sighs> Sounds amazing. So come with me. The carriage leaves tomorrow night, just outside the village. All play and no work. All play and no work. No! Say bye, Lampwood. Bye, Pinocchio.
him. Where is he? No, 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 believe me, I didn't mean to. You knew he was dead! You knew it! Pinocchio. Pinocchio! Come back, my son. I'm not your son! I'm not anyone's son! I told you I'd see you later. I think there's room for one more. Pinocchio! Wait! Don't do it! Pinocchio! And so, believing there was nothing left for him here, Pinocchio set off for the land of toys with Lampley. You're making a big mistake. Playtime never ends, and bedtime never comes. Well, I tell you, kiddo, it, it's wonderful. It's better than that. It's it, it's dream come true. Come on. Like all the new arrivals, Pinocchio and Lampwick were dazzled by the wonders on show. Uh -huh. Carnival of carousels, clowns, and cotton candy. All the things your parents disapprove of, and all at the same time. Pinocchio joined in a game of knock the block off the teacher. One of the more educational pursuits. Time to have fun. Your attention, please. I tell you the truth, I had enough of all this laughing and fun. What? Are you serious? Your attention, please. To follow in the communal bedroom, there will be a bed jumping competition. And don't forget. 
that every child has the right to become instantly bored with his new toys. They will be immediately replaced by even newer ones. Do it here. Get rid of it. Get a new one. I want my mama. I do enjoy the sound of children's laughter, don't you? <laughs> laugh. Laugh. Go on laughing. Tomorrow, the fun will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> Even the most energetic boy can only take so much fun. Eventually, Pinocchio, Lampwick and the rest succumbed to sleep. And to the curse of the land of toys. We're donkeys. They'll put us to work. Hard work. Right, sir, you're not getting a better price, I tell you. You're not. Oh, come on. It's worth more than that. You can pay a little bit more than that. I'd be giving it away. Right, come on, Anna. As long as there are lazy children, we'll be in business. Well, don't you think this whole Land of Toys thing is a bit, well, elaborate? I mean, couldn't we just kidnap the kids, turn them into donkeys, and sell them? One, two, three. You have no imagination. So it was that Pinocchio the donkey found himself all alone in the world and about to do something on four legs that he had never achieved on two. He was going to work for a living. 
in the circus. Gentlemen, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll cheer for our new star <laughs> presenting uh, the mule with cool, the donkey with a spree, Whoa. the equine of the headline, Pinocchio! <laughs> the only donkey in the world who knows his time tables. Cricket? Pinocchio. Very. It's two. Uh, this is awful. I must let the fairy know what's happened. She'll know what to do. Two times two. It's four. Uh, I've had enough of this. Fairy, it's me, your Pinocchio. Two times three. They've turned me into a donkey. Come Please with me. me back. <laughs> no need to be alarmed, ladies and gentlemen. Pinocchio is a donkey by name and by nature. <laughs> and now you'll see what a great acrobat he is. I'm so tired. It won't be so hard here. My fairy. She looks so sad. What have I done? No! Come back! Don't leave me! I'm so, so tired. Oh, it hurts. My leg, it hurts. Get up, you wretch. How dare you make me a laughing stock? Up! It's broken. You useless brute. You're only worth your skin. Take him away. A donkey with a broken leg was no use to the circus master. However, a donkey skin has many uses. But before the donkey can be turned into a chair covering or a fashionable coat, it must be prepared. The first stage is to completely soak the skin.
Let me out, you horrible, smelly creature! Is it be your fish or a friend? I was a donkey. Don't be hard on yourself. You haven't had the schooling of other children. Hmm? Listen, it's not much, but it's home. Hmm? It's dampen it, dark, and it smells of fish. Oh, that reminds me. Dinner. Now, to start, we have cold fish soup. And to follow, we have cold fish in a light fish sauce accompanied by a trio of fish. And for pudding, we have tiramisu. Tiramisu, really? No, goldfish. <laughs> it's not so bad. You soon get used to the smell. Oh, what was I saying? We have to get out of here before you go completely mad. Nonsense. I'm completely sane. Yeah, have a pillow. So, over a light meal of cold fish, Pinocchio told Geppetto all that had happened. He had come a long way since he was a wooden puppet. Do you remember the first question you ever asked me? I asked you what his life was. That's right. think about it and I may not have the answer but I've got an answer for you the purpose of life is to love so unless you have someone to love like a wife or a friend or a child life is worthless and you know who told me that you did. Me? But how could I have taught you? I haven't even been to school yet. <laughs> well, you did. stars you are, Father. I've never seen so many. Look at those lights. The coast can't be too far. Let's jump in. I can do it, you know. No, I'm waking. I think I already did. Get down. Get down. Can you make it? I told you to get down. I say. Now is the right time. Are you sure? Yes. Grab hold of that bike. It'll help you float. Go. What about you? Do as I say. Are you sure? Go. Go.
Papa. We made it. Papa? We made it, Papa. Papa? Wake up, Papa. Papa? Wake up. Papa? Look, it's my father. I, I think he's dying. It's his heart. He needs to build up his strength, or he won't live. In my professional opinion, what this man needs is milk. One glass, every night before bed. I, I haven't any money for a glass of milk. I can't afford to pay. That's the best I can do. The rest is up to you, my dear boy. I need some milk. So, how much milk do you want? I need one glass, every day for the next month. That's going to cost you. But I haven't any money, and it's a matter of life and death. Oh, sorry. I'm just a poor farmer. I can't give away my milk. But, uh, perhaps you could work for it. Doing what? Well, you could grind my wheat for me. Doesn't sound too hard. You're doing well. This should be donkey work. But mine is on his last legs. A donkey. Lampwick. Is that you? Pinocchio. Lampwick, my friend. Can you hear me? Your voice is so faint. Don't worry. It's all right now. You'll be all right. I'm sorry I led you astray. Perhaps... I'm sorry I didn't stay with you. Perhaps if I'd had a father like you... No, would... don't say anything. It wasn't your fault. You don't have to say you're sorry for anything. Goodbye. No, wait. Don't die. Lampwick, wait. Let's go back. Let's behave like good boys. I'm so sorry, Lambwick. I'm so very sorry. From that day on, for more than a month, Pinocchio got up every morning just as dawn was breaking and went to the farm to work. of milk for his poor old father. But however much Geppetto drank, it didn't seem to help. Papa, this. 
scalding hot. Fairy, please help me, Fairy! He's the kindest man in the world. He really loves me. He doesn't deserve to die. What's all the noise? It's his heart. It's so weak. He's going to die, isn't he? <laughs> Comes to us all in the end. But this isn't the end. And if you could make him well again, what would you give in return? I don't understand. I'd give anything, everything. Would you give him your own heart? Yes, only it's made of wood. <laughs> oh, wooden boy. <laughs> and I'd be wooden forever if it meant my papa would live. You would, would you? But you're dead. I was. What's it like? It's a bit like Florence, but with more hops. Wait, I don't understand. You brought me back. <gasps> Papa? Pinocchio, you've given him the only thing in the world that could make him better. Milk? <laughs> For heaven's sake. You've given him that wonderful thing called love. You know... <clears throat> <laughs> I never felt better in my life. <sighs> Your heart. It's speaking so strongly. Yes, it is. But it's not my heart you can hear. It's yours. It is? Yes. It is. It's not wooden anymore. It's a real heart. <laughs> How about that? That's amazing what they can do these days. Mm. in your beautiful sails, I'm sorry. Oh, but I see you found what you were looking for. Yes. Miss Laura, I've never been to school, but I have a great excuse. In fact, it's a whole story. Hmm. And I look forward to hearing it in class. Hmm? I'm going to call it The Adventures of Pinocchio. What about me? Oh, don't worry, Papa. You're in it too. Only I'm in it more than you. <laughs> oh, bye bye. 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 Jupiter. Pinocchio, you're alive. One, two, three. What are you doing? I'm counting your limbs. So the shock didn't get you after all. No, we escaped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, little fella you got there. Real chip off the old block, eh? Sorry. <laughs> shame you had to sell the place. <laughs> I don't regret it. I mean, it's a shame for me. I had to buy them back for you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take that. Of course you can. You, you can pay me back in spoons. Master Cherry. You are wonderful. I know, no muscle mm. stuff. Mm. <laughs> oh, well. 
This is the one. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Love you. Nearly at the end, Pinocchio. Tricky things, endings. Far easier to begin a journey than end one. Here it comes. The last page. Are you ready? Does it have to end? All stories end. It's what makes them stories. Goodbye, Pinocchio. Goodbye, Cricket. <laughs> the old place hasn't changed much. Hmm? I have. What are you thinking, son? Well, that a wooden heart might beat forever, but a real heart loves for a lifetime. <laughs> A wooden heart might beat forever, but a real heart loves a lifetime. Does it have a happy ending? Yes, I think so. But you'll find out when the book is published. Hmm. <clears throat> but something tells me that this tale will have a life of its own. Don't you have to go out and collect your desk? A suspicious person might think you wanted me out of the way, Hat. Here. Thank you, Eliza. Papa, but today's Sunday, and I'm looking for crickets. <laughs> <laughs> 